Hi and welcome. This is Arshana with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each one of you to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support and love. If you're new, I truly welcome you with all my heart. Thank you for making my channel grow and giving me this hope and encouragement to be on my highest path. I am bringing four different readings. I have been really guided today uh, to bring very many different types of readings. I do a lot of twin flame readings. That's what you'll see a lot on my channel, but not everybody resonates with the energy of a twin flame. So I was called today to tap into the energies of that love, that loving partnership, romance with a soulmate. So if you are inquiring about a soulmate connection or you are wanting to know where your current soulmate relationship is going, then this is a reading that I'm bringing forth today. And this is the first time I'm doing a soulmate reading. So we will go with where my spirit is guiding for me to go with it. So let's start with overriding energy between you and your significant other whom you perceive to be a soulmate in the month of September. I'm trying to do a September reading, but know that readings are timeless. So when you're meant to receive the message is when you're meant to receive them. But I'm channeling for the month of September. Okay. The thinking woman. walking away so what I'm feeling as our main energies right now is some of you may be drawn to this new connection that you are asking and inquiring about it is a spiritual connection but it requires for you to leave something that you've known so the comfort zone. So I'm feeling like in this one, like she's walking away, right? From the known garden, from a known, known place. Um, it may be something that you've always done. These are the relationships that you've always had. But now there's something different. There's something, there's something that your spirit is just pulling you towards. You just feel it in your heart. So this is one of the energies that I'm picking up here. Either it's for you or for your partner. Or the one you're inquiring about so you can always reverse the stories around on how they resonate for you and I feel like that there is a lot of growth that is taking place within this connection there will be a lot of transformation it's going to transform the way you think and that's what soulmate relationships are about that's what soulmate relationships are about this totals up to number 11 so it's like a spiritual number it's a master number so the person that you're connecting with is helping you open your heart and connect your heart's wisdom to your innate wisdom which is your crown chakra connecting to your divine source within let's open up more to see what the energies are coming. I want to see what is the soul lesson that the two of you are integrating right now. What is the combined soul lesson for the soulmate in September? What is the soul lesson that people are integrating? Widening your imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. This is beautiful. So that's a connecting energy. Do you see a lot of greens and purples right here? So this is definitely a very warming relationship. It's a relationship that's going to open your mind. So there's going to be an opening of on top of a crown chakra, which is on top of our head. I'm an energy healer. I work a lot with the chakras. So my readings integrate a lot with crystals and chakras. If you're new to it, this is how I do my readings. Y your crown chakra sits on top of, um, literally, so if you're new, your crown chakra will be on top of the head. So like there are a lot of purple flowers. Okay, So lilac and deep purple goes with the upper chakras. That's a connection to the divine source. So I feel like this connection is a beautiful connection that will open up your mind 
and your perspective. A new perspective is coming forth for you through this. Let's look at the energies between the two of you. Let's look at your energy. Oh my gosh. And the energy of your partner, someone you're inquiring about. But I'm going to read them together. Not individually. Soulmate energies for the month of September. So a lot of messages have already come out. Let's see what did we get. Ah. All right. Beautiful. I will tell you what these are. Okay. Let's do that. So we got the world card, the two of fire, patience, and four of earth. soulmate energies for the month of September is what can the collective um, what do they need to know what do they need to integrate oh wow this is some strong soulmate energy that's coming forth in the month of September for those who are tuning in today Okay, I want to look at, um, can you see? Yeah, I'll pull it up a little bit. Sorry. I want to look at what is, let's take some clarifiers, dear angels, for what the soulmate energy is of. What is the sense of lack and being left out in the cold? Okay, thank you. Oh, there's new clarity coming in. Can I get clarity on um, the emperor anchoring this energy? Okay, a new inspiration that's coming in. And of not giving up, of working really hard on the eight of pentacles. Clarity on the eight of pentacles, please their angels okay wounded warrior here and what is this this is perfect judgment with that world card uh, don't think I need much but I will take one final clarifier for our reading for the world and the judgment card gorgeous gorgeousness gorgeousness to the max so i am loving this reading uh this is phenomenal my dears so what, what the spirit is saying right now is i'm gonna put it up like that what the spirit is really saying is about this connection that there's certain cycles that are, need to end have ended or will end Okay, each one of us is on a different journey. So when we are, the energies are fluid. Because there may be something that you need to walk away from. There may be a connection that's calling to you. And, and I am totally drawn to my amethyst, which is a spiritual connection next to the flowers, the lilacs right here, and the butterfly right there, the bird that's beckoning it. So I'm truly drawn to that by saying that there may be some known relationship that you'll be walking away from, or you will need to make a decision. That's where this will come in the two of fire, that you're going to need to make a decision about that. Because this other connection, which is a very spiritual connection, and you feel very much at home, very loving, and it feels very inspiring. It feels very, um, it feels very, uh, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like expansion. So it, it feels, that connection feels very expansive. It feels very loving and nurturing. You feel really good in that connection, respected, loved, cared for. It may be the current one that you're looking at, but I feel like for some of you, you maybe you need to walk away from some toxic relationship, from non-nurturing relationships that are not very heart-centered, where you have felt kind of trapped. I feel like you feel like you've been trapped, but this new connection that I'm picking up on, on the soulmate um, energy that's drawing you, that's opening up your energy field, is going to be very grounded. It is a very strong foundation but you're going to need to exercise some patience in that. Uh, there is certain cycles, and I say that in a lot of my readings, cycles have to end. We each, as a human being, have taken on certain karma before we come down. And here's this card of reckoning that's coming in. You put in all these prayers that, dear God, dear universe, dear genie, whatever, my higher self, angels, however, 
whoever you believe in, that I am wishing to be in this ultimate loving relationship that is very loving, that is very kind, that's very nurturing, that's very healing, where I am respected. But my first point before I say anything is, are you doing this for yourself? For us to bring in a relationship, we need to be in that receptive mode. We ourselves need to embody what we are looking for in another. What we are looking for in other. If you're lo looking for a nurturing relationship, be nurturing to yourself. Be nurturing to another. If you're looking for a person to respect you, be respectful to yourself. Be respectful to others. So this is the time where the universe is saying, God has heard your prayers. Your prayers for that divine counterpart, that wonderful partner, that soulmate energy is coming to you. It's coming to you. And it's going to be very balanced. It's going to be very, this person is, I'm feeling, this is the masculine energy or your partner that you're looking at, is going to be very balanced. It's going to be very, it's easy for me to say he, but it's not gender specific. Um, I don't want to break my flow. So this person is going to be very, <clears throat> ah, my throat, so I know. This person has a lot of emotions, is very balanced, works with a heart, but is not able to, has not perhaps communicated. I felt a blockage in my throat chakra as soon as I was tapping into the masculine energy. So this masculine energy that you're inquiring about, if you're inquiring about a masculine energy, has perhaps not shared how they feel about you. They haven't shared how they feel about you. But know that your prayers have been answered and that certain karmic cycles are coming to an end. And this is going to be like the world. This is going to be a beautiful relationship. So they've, they've had to work. I'm feeling this is that person who has not shared their feelings with you. That they have had in the past when they've worked only on their material prosperity. They ignored the part of the spirit. And they held their spirit within. They weren't able to share who they are, what they feel with others because they were hurt in the past. It's been a, a, a difficult journey for them. It's been a difficult journey for this person. And they might have shared their heart before. They might have given their all before. And they were hurt in, in love, in partnerships, in workplaces. So there's that energy of, I don't know if I can really continue anymore. I'm really tired. I don't know if I will ever receive this love. So that person has been working immaculately on building material prosperity, something that can be seen because the realm of the emotions was very unseen for them. They tried it. They tested it. It wasn't, it wasn't what they thought it would be. But what I want you to see that this person is now open, not just to working and putting the work together, like eight of pentacles, like, you know, you're building diligently, you're skillfully building things up, you know, you're building a strong foundation so that you can have everything. This person's working with the spirit is open to the energies of the spiritual realm coming in. He has a lot of emotions. He has a lot of emotions. There's a rebirth that's taking place. There's a rebirth that's taking place, but there is going to be a choice. I feel like there is to be a choice that has to be made here. For some of you, it may be walking away from something that you've always known. It could be the work that you've always known, something that's very comfortable. You know, it's you got your whole 401k planned out there. You got a nice home, the nice perks, everything's there. But there's something else that's beckoning you. There's something else that's beckoning you. It's like the hero's journey. Um, but it's a choice that you're going to have to make. And understand that divine timing is at play, meaning that things will only unfold when they're meant to unfold. I can't make the rose bloom at my wish. It will bloom when it is meant to bloom. So this, uh, there is a lot of uh, strength and power in this person, in this connection that you are asking about. It's going to be very grounded and this person has this strong energy about them on 
making it in the world, making it in the world. And they're getting some new ideas. They're getting new ideas. There's passion that's reigniting within them to feel like this emperor. They want to be in this emperor energy before they come to you. A masculine energy has to be in a masculine energy that it's meant for, which is the emperor. And the feminine energy, the divine counterpart, is the empress, the queen, the king and the queen. So this person has to step into his own known power as a king or an emperor. And an emperor is visionary. He's gone through the ringer. He's gone through it all. He knows what it takes. So he's wise. It's not like an older person, but this beard is representative of that. He's got a lot of wisdom. He's gained a lot of resilience, strength, determination. He's got a lot of that. But certain cycles have to end. Be patient. Be patient. Because this is a very grounded connection. So I feel like either you or the other person or both of you have had relationships where there was heartbreak, sadness, grief, just, you know, no warmth, feeling completely left out, just left out. You put in your time, you put in your energy, you put in your love, you gave it all, but it didn't work out. And that caused a lot of heartache. Even though it's in the energy of the pentacles, I'm picking up with all these emotions, I'm picking up a lot of heartache. So what I'm feeling guided right now is to say that the divine is bringing in absolute new clarity new thought this is the sword that's coming that's a sort of clarity it's a sort of truth it's wreath it's pure it's coming in from the divine source it's handing it's being handed down by the divine for you clearing away the fog clearing away all this all this dark energy that you've been feeling you know letting go of that dark energy so that the sun the new cycle can come because that's what that's what the universe that's what god's bringing he's heard your message he's heard that there's these trumpets that are blowing that this is the connection that you've wanted to something that you wanted so what i'm being asked right now to let you know is be patient I'm being drawn to that card. Be patient because the certain cycles are ending and this soulmate is coming to you. This soulmate is coming to you. But what is it that you need to surrender? To be in this loving and open and receptive energy of this soulmate. What is it that they need to surrender? Thank you. Surrender to silence. So uh, it says here in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So it's very important for you to connect with nature as I'm doing my recording outside in nature, out by trees, try to plant your feet on earth to increase that root energy within your body and as you're connecting in nature, your spirit is going to be healed. There's going to be a lot of healing energy that's around trees, around water, around birds, around animals. So the more time you can spend in nature, the more healing energy you're going to bring into yourself. And the more healing energy that you bring into yourself, the more you magnetize, because we are magnetic beings, you magnetize this soulmate relationship with you. Let's ask the Romance Angels on some guidance messages to close this reading. And I will only take one. If you're asking, is this the one? The Romance Angels are saying, yes, this could be the one. The one that you're inquiring about. That you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So come in this energy of receptivity and open your hearts to receive.
I've, re I've done, uh, I still have to edit because I'm just simply recording all my um, readings right now, is I've just done a, a 222 reading. If you are wishing to open your energy field to receive the abundance, then there are messages that might be there for you that will help you in magnetizing this beautiful love energy that's coming your way in the month of September. Now, I have done this reading for the month of September, but understand that certain cycles are coming to an end and based on your own soul path, this may take time to materialize in the real world, meaning in the physical world. But be open. This is the card of silence. This is the card of patience. You're being asked to be patient. And in those times of impatience, because we all have been there, done that, we get super impatient. I know myself, I truly do get impatient. And I try to spend more and more time in nature and try to relinquish control, relinquish control on an outcome. The more we are able to do that, the more we are able to stay in our heart space. So I hope you've enjoyed these messages. I have done this reading for the first time and I hope to bring forth the messages that are going to be loving and guiding for those who are seeking a soulmate relationship. So I wish you much heart healing and much love. May there be love and light in all of your hearts. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance.